I will try DaVinci Resolve because I did install that whilst that's updating. So let's have a look. Let's see DaVinci Resolve going. This is the first time I've run it on here. Continue. Skip and install. And it comes in this tiny text. You have to go in and tweak this. Don't need the latest version. Skip. So go to preferences. Go to user. Go to display UI 150. Save. OK. Come out of that. Quit. And start again. OK, let's just jump in. Now, I don't think you'll get any hardware acceleration, but I think you've obviously got OpenCL running here. Preferences. Right, let's have a look at the GPU. So there you go. That's a bit of scary. It's picked the um it's picked the rubbish Intel Arc, Intel one, the on chip one, whatever it's called, but not the Arc. So I've switched over to the Arc. It's got OpenCL. So okay, so that's probably runnable, but I don't know how much um has come out of that performance would get from this. Obviously, the, the trick is, is the hardware encoding. That's the bit. I mean, obviously, if you're, if you're, you're doing, let's do that again, Pro, uh, DaVinci Resolve. If you're doing ProRes encoding, it doesn't matter because it's CPU based. If you're doing H.264, AV1, or any of those codecs, you, you want to use the um, hardware, the, the dedicated encoders. So everything in this, I think, I mean, the display and everything like this, I mean, the effects may be uh, OpenCL accelerated, but I don't think the encoding, decode and encode would be accelerated by this. But it's great that you can actually run this. Let's have a look what we've got in here. So MP4, this is the free version, by the way. So you won't have um, H.265, H.264 by default, but normally on an NVIDIA, you get AV1, but you don't get that. Anyway, it's totally workable. QuickTime, ProRes, what else have you got in there? Nothing accelerated though for export or import, but you could definitely work in um, Quick DaVinci Resolve. You could definitely work in uh, with ProRes and stuff and edit. Interesting. And it's interesting they picked the other. I wonder if I could combine on the, I think it's only on the Pro version of DaVinci Resolve you can do two cards. I wonder what would happen if I actually use both of them together. Anyway, that's really good. I don't, I'm going to try with the, AMD and see what I get with AMD because I mean it, getting it to launch, getting DaVinci Resolve to launch on some um, Linux distributions is a nightmare.